I'm going to take a short sequence that you can incorporate into your day, whether sitting at your desk or you can sit on the floor as well. And this is dedicated to my dad because I told him we do a short sequence for him because you know, anyone can do some of this stuff and it's good for everyone. So take a moment to connect to the points of contact with the floor. Maybe it's your feet. Maybe it's your sitting bones, your pelvis. And then taking your hands onto your knees, inhale and lean forward a little bit, lengthen the spine, look up. Keep your hands holding a little bit of resistance there. Exhale, drop your chin and round the upper back. And again, inhale, lengthen the spine, look up, shoulders back. Exhale, cool back and round the spine. And again, breathing in, reach and lengthen. And as you breathe out, cool back, drop in and activate. You can stay with this, or if the shoulders are happy with the idea, you can reach the arms up as you inhale. And then exhale, pull back, round the spine as if you wanted to push something away. And then again, breathing in, reach up. I'm just gonna move my chair back a little bit. Exhale, pull back and round. And one more time, inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, pull back, stretch the back body. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side, coming into your goal post arms, draw the elbows in. And we'll do that again. Inhale, reaching up. You can straighten the arms if that feels good. Exhale and bend. And we'll add the gaze. So inhale, arms reach. Exhale, look to your left. Again, inhale. Get long. Exhale, look to your right. Again, inhale. Exhale, look behind left shoulder. And once again, breathe in. Exhale, look to your right shoulder. Good. Inhale through center. And exhale, release. I'm going to shake off the hands as if I'm drying our hands. Shake, 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 shake. Good. And sh shake your elbows. Maybe shake your shoulders. Good. Whew. And then make a fists and strobe lights with your hands, especially if you've been on the computer quite a bit. And you know, you can do it with your toes too, if you're if you're wearing socks or shoes. Both feet and toe hands. Strobe lights, spread and clench. Good, and then shake it out one more time. We're gonna take a little bit of stretch for uh, the carpal tunnel. This is the Catia uh, Solinas. So show me your left palm, a little closer. And then using the right hand, spread the fingers wide and then take the thumb, press the wrist forward and pull the fingers back. And then you can also drop the right ear to the right shoulder, but keep the fingers lively. Maybe exhale through the mouth. And then make a fist. You can bring the head to center, spread the fingers, draw the index back. Let the feet settle, let the pelvis settle, make a fist. And switch. Good, really make sure you're spreading the fingers and then going into the stretch. Make a fist and spread it out. And one more time, make a fist and spread. As if you were playing the piano and you wanted to reach the maximum range for the octave here. I'm gonna shake it out for a moment. Notice the difference between left and right. And present the second wrist. Spread the fingers, left arm loops under, and you draw back. And then once again, option two, drop left ear to shoulder. 
Couple of breaths, feel free to exhale through the mouth. Awareness of the breath. Fingers remain lively, the mouth soft. And making a fist. And if you like the neck release, feel free to incorporate it or you can stay tall, tailbone to the crown. Beautiful, and make a fist. Dental floss for your carpal tunnel. Like clearing a little bit of space and this and this is also great to do before your yoga practice or as a little bit of a break in the middle of your day and of course as a standalone practice and we're going to stay with the pinky just for a moment longer really reach the thumb and the pinky in opposite directions and then draw back mouth is soft good and once again shake it out and hands rest on your knees or your lap. On your exhale, drop the chin to the chest. And as you inhale, gaze up. Make sure you're not crunching the back of the neck. So you're gazing up and on the diagonal. Exhale, drop. Keep the spine lifted. Inhale, lengthen. Stretch your throat. And once again, exhale, drop. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop, we'll take a half semicircle to the left, chin to left shoulder, inhale, look behind you, exhale to center. Again, like that, and take the shoulder to the left and over the left shoulder, breathe in, and breathe out, gently roll the chin to the center. And once again, notice if you're losing your perfect posture and see if you can Sit as if you were standing proudly, confidently. Changing sides, chin over the right shoulder, inhale, exhale, draw down. So again, half semicircle. Inhale, try to look behind you. Exhale, release. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. And one more here, come to center, left ear to left shoulder. And then turn your nose up on the diagonal to look up and to the right. Come to center, right ear to right shoulder. And then gazing up on the diagonal. And we'll do that a little bit. It's a little Stevie Wonder, a little bit of uh, infinity symbol as if you were drawing the infinity symbol or an eight that decided to take a nap in front of you. Inhale, center, exhale to drop. And then turn the nose, try to look behind you. And so maybe we're gaining a tiny bit more range of movement here. Last couple of repetitions. Once again, softening the areas that tend to grip, like the mouth. And even the eyes can soften or close. Taking a moment to enjoy your body, enjoy your breath, enjoy slowing down. Right. Papa Zim says that the word enjoy comes from the Greek words enjoy in life. So take a moment to affirm that. Beautiful. And then Take your fingertips to your shoulders, squeeze the shoulders, sorry, these are the elbows, squeeze the elbows in, and then draw the shoulders, shoulder blades together. All right, so elbows in, and then inhale, elbows back, and then elbows in, and then elbows back. Keep the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades as if you had a pencil between them, and then We'll take a little bit of side to side movement. Keep the elbows back. So notice I'm not letting the elbows dictate the movement, but I'm keeping the navel facing forward and isolating the movement through the lower, uh, pardon me, upper back, right? So just a little bit of side to side, elbows stay back. If you like a little breath of fire here, you can go for that. And, um, keep it simple for today. 
And then see if you can keep your gaze forward, maybe at a point above your computer screen or wherever you're watching this. Just a little bit of side to side. Good, come through center, make the movement smaller. And elbows in and up, back and around and in. Breathe in, and back and round and one more. <sighs> And we'll take it in the opposite direction. Inhale up and back. Beautiful. One more. Good. And then reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Easy twist to your left. Right hand to the left leg. And use the back hand almost as a tripod to lift the spine. And then twist to your left. And then gaze over the right shoulder. So look forward and then to the right. And we'll turn the head again. Inhale, turn the head, gaze to the left. Exhale, look to the right. Nice and easy. Nonchalantly, almost you know, as if you couldn't quite be bothered, but okay, someone's tapping on the right shoulder. And you're like, okay, because Dora. And exhale. And one more. Right ear to right shoulder. So I'm dropping the right ear. Keep the right arm engaged. Beautiful. Relax the mouth. One more breath. And when you inhale, reach the left arm up and over into a little side bend here. Look down for a moment. Maybe gaze towards the wall across from you. And maybe up. And then coming into self-care pose from Embodied Yoga Principles. Take a moment, spread the shoulder blades apart and maybe walk your fingertips in to, to give a little massage to your back. You move a little bit side to side. Hey, Yasu. Good. <sighs> and then... You can stay with this, so take a little shoulder stretch. So reaching the right fingertips up, drop the left shoulder down. If you like to make it fancy, you can take eagle arms here. No, you don't have to. And once again, right ear to right shoulder, couple of breaths. Okay. Maybe it's one of those times where you didn't realize how much tension you're holding until you start to release it. Allow just a little bit of time and space for that. You can flutter the lips or flubber the lips, relax them. Good. And then inhale, take the elbows up. It can be an eagle arms or shoulder stretch. And exhale, come forward and round your back. Let the arms go, let the head go for a moment. So let everything go. If the lower back is a little cranky, just come onto your elbows and let the head go. Big full breath into the back body. Exhale, activate the navel, pull the belly back and come up one vertebra at a time. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Pause, take a breath, notice. And then inhale, arms reach. And get some length going through the spine. Exhale, twist to the opposite direction to the right. And once again, use the right arm to lift and lengthen the spine. Left arm is a little bit active. Inhale, and then as you exhale, look over the left shoulder. Again, inhale, turn to look to the right. Exhale, left. Feel free to close the eyes or keep them very soft, maybe gazing down the cheeks. And a couple more like that easing into our day or taking a moment to be and breathe. And the next time you turn left, left ear to left shoulder. Keep the arms a little bit active. Relax your mouth, relax the arms. And let the tongue settle and rest. And feel free to explore with micro movements and then find an area that feels like it would benefit from a moment's pause. Hang out there long enough so it's productive.
Once again, maybe an exhale through the mouth. <sighs> On your next inhalation, reach the right arm up. Gentle side bend to the left. And feel free to look down here. Or you can play with the gaze, looking towards the wall or even up. Big breath into the right lung. Exhale, give yourselves a hug once again. Ah, and give yourselves a few little squeezes if you like. And maybe a little bit of movement here. Can you feel your shoulder blades and upper back move? It's so important for neck health. And then coming into your shoulder stretch, right arm is straight, left elbow is underneath, and you're sort of dropping the right shoulder and drawing the arms towards you a bit. You can stick with this, or if you'd like, you can take the forearms up or even join the palms together. Wherever you are, allow for there to be a little bit of rounding through the upper back. Take a breath in and then from the elbows reaching forward, sit bones back, slowly curl forward into a forward bend. Let the head and neck release and then let go of the arms as well. And once again, if that's a little intense in the lower back, just take your elbows down and relax the head down. Couple of breaths. See if you can feel the inhalation expanding the back body. And as you exhale, engage the navel and come up one vertebra at a time. Head heavy, arms last. Beautiful. And we'll take a, one more here, with the lower body. So interlace, uh, reach your legs forward if you're seated on the floor. And take your hands and interlace fingers behind the left thigh. Good. Take a few rotations through the foot. And notice if you're sort of collapsed down. And press your sits bones down. Press the pelvis down to sit tall and proud. Reverse the movement. A little bit of crick and crack might be there. Mine always is. And then flex the foot. And you may have to lean forward a little bit here. But straighten the leg. And then point the foot and bend the knee. Pull the heel back towards your seat. And again, flex the foot and press the heel away as you lengthen the spine. Point the toes, pull the heel in and lengthen again. Good, and one more time. Good, and beautiful. And then we're gonna keep it up, right? So you may, once again, need to lower the leg, that's fine. And if you wanna keep it high, that's fine as well. And then you can take the arms, the hands, pardon me, to namaste. You can take a hold of your chair, but once again, not leaning back to get that height here. Externally rotate the foot. A little extra strengthening, arms reach. Good. And then internally rotate. Lift a little higher and release. Actually, don't release. Take the ankle over the opposite leg. So it's like a figure four if your right leg is straight. And then just lean forward and back a little bit. Take your fingertips to your seat and flex the foot a lot. Right? This activates some of the muscles that protect the knee joint here. But if this is painful, just straighten the leg down, right? So both legs can be straight here. Just a little bit of forward and then take a big breath in. Reach the arms up to the side. Welcoming the new day, big breath in, and then exhale, <sighs> fall forward, relax the head, couple of breaths here, pour your exhalation into the left hip, relax the shoulders, relax the mouth, empty out completely and come up slowly, one vertebra at a time, like coming up a flight of stairs, head comes up last, and straighten the leg, and let it go. Shake it out for a moment, okay. and you can even do the this thing okay. for a moment. It's good if you've never done it, or if it's been 40 years or, since you did it, so you can do it. Okay, I'm really good at it. <laughs> Here we go. Interlace the hands behind the, the right thigh. Pull up with the arms, press down with the thigh. Nice, steady seat. Flex the foot, take a breath in. Exhale, press the heel away. 
point the toes, take a breath in, exhale, pull the heel in as much as you can, as if you could touch your bum. Again, press the heel away, take a breath in, exhale, pull in, beautiful. Again, breathing in, get long, and once again, it doesn't have to be high to be effective. Remember, any amount of the pose is always the pose. Good. Let's do one more. That's Jason Crandall, not Tina, but it could be Tina. Let's go. Press the heel away, lift the heart up, and then abracadabra. What we want here is to not lose any height, right? So activate the leg and then let go. Yeah, good. And then, you know, you can keep the hands down as long as you're not falling back. Or, ta-da! And then externally rotate. See, it's a bit shaky. That's great. We're getting strong. Internally rotate. Right? And this is where some of you said, oh, I have muscles. Well, I didn't know I had muscles there. Take it a little higher, take a breath in, exhale, bend the knee, and organize the ankle so that it's off the opposite thigh. Flex the foot, right? And then maybe a little bit of front and back swaying with the torso, really coaxing the body. Nice and easy. And then inhale, arms reach. Exhale, dive forward. You can rest your elbows, let the head go, or allow the arms to spill forward. Relax the jaws, deepen your breath. Eyes are quiet, breath is steady. Follow the next exhale to its conclusion, and then slowly come up nice and easy. <sighs> Good. And then extend the leg, let it go. And one more here. Lively. Rubbing of the palms together. <sighs> and then we're going to take our palms just above the eyes. Close the eyes. All right, so there's a, maybe a two centimeters distance from the palms and then let that warmth and heat and energy of the hands relax the eyes and forehead. And then as if you were pulling your hair back, slicking it back, pull the hands back to the scalp. Take a breath in. We'll do that two more times. Just smooth the hair back. <sighs> Beautiful. Really nice. Take a moment, pause. Notice if you feel a little bit different, hopefully a little better. And uh, you're on your way. <laughs>